Now, we are taught that we have five senses. Hallelujah. But in the realm of the spirit, you have more than five senses. Are you following me now? I, I've read books about spiritual senses and people say, you, oh, no, 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 no. There are certain manifestations in the spirit that do not have an explanation in this realm. For instance, what ability of the spirit do you use to know things? You need a mind to know things in this realm. In the realm of the spirit, if you touch the flower in the realm of the spirit, you don't know it by studying it. You have the feeling of becoming that flower. And instantly, you have every knowledge that you require about that flower. Are you following me now? In the realm of the spirit, there is no time and there is no distance. Are you following me now? These are spiritual realities. You, you do not measure... Time, you, you cannot measure time. Time is irrelevant in the realm of the spirit. This is why God says a thousand years is like a day before him. So as far as he's concerned, the promises he made in your life, he still made them today. And while you are grumbling and complaining and say, Lord, five years, God says, this is, you are talking from a fleshly point of view. When you rise and become spiritual, you will know that it's still one day. God is still faithful. Hallelujah. Because he functions from the realm of eternity. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. The Bible says that he makes all things beautiful in his time. And he has put eternity in the heart of man. And so the realm of the spirit is an interesting realm. In the realm of the spirit there are no secrets. Are you following me now? No secrets. If we are all to be caught up in the spirit right now. You will need to confess and repent and roll on the floor. Because there are no secrets in the spirit. That's why the Bible calls him the father of light in whom there is no shadow of turning. All things lay bare in the realm of the spirit. And every time you begin to, that's where we get the concept of what we call imagination. Comes from the Hebrew word Yazar. The ability to conceive things until they crystallize and become a reality in the spirit. That's how demons and all of these mind readers and sorcerers are able to tap into the spirit. You see, there are several planes in the spirit. The realm of the spirit is not heaven. The realm of the spirit is a spiritual environment that is real, just like this. Are you following me now? So when you get caught up, there are many people... Who are smiling, they've been caught up into the realm of demons and sorcerers, astrologers, mind readers, and all of these people. They function from the realm of the spirit. That's why they can tell you certain things about your life. Because what you call future, when you go to the realm of the spirit, you find out that it's not future. It's only future according to this realm. That's why God gave us Expo. He says you want to reign in life, see it in the spirit. You will always be ahead in this life. And then you reproduce it in this realm. If there is victory in the spirit, then there must be victory in this realm. That's why the kings, every time they would go to war, they would call the priests and the prophets. See in the spirit and tell us, are we wasting our time? Or oh, this is a victorious battle. And the prophets will come and say, I have seen it. There is victory. Hallelujah. But the society has trained us to be carnal people who walk after our senses. And get whipped and punished by the vicissitudes of life. Hallelujah. The realm of the spirit is very powerful. One time I was caught up in the spirit and I looked at people and all I was seeing was light. They were emitting different, different um, magnitudes and colors of light. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he told me this light is the degree and the depth of Christ. That has been formed in the people. Hallelujah. And your strength is gauged in the spirit. By the degree of light that you emit. That's what we do in quantum physics. When you want to know things about elements. You expose them to light. And they reveal certain things. Where did they learn that principle from? Why do you think quantum physics is hard? Because it's an attempt to study realities. That can only be explained in the spirit. Don't blame yourself because your lecturer called you stupid. He has not yet come to the realm of the spirit to understand how hard things are. You should clap for me. Come on. I qualify to work as a counselor. Hallelujah. 
there are many of us who when we get born again and get filled with the Holy Spirit we are not taught how to begin to interact with the atmosphere of the Spirit and if you are not taught you can get into error because suddenly you find out that your organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit are coming alive and then you do not know how to navigate through the path of the spirit and then we begin to hear voices and have expressions that we cannot explain and this is why this teaching is preparing us are you getting blessed the bible says paul was preaching and suddenly there was a signal in his spirit man the bible calls it perception the ability to perceive realities hallelujah when you get born again and the holy spirit comes to live in you when you're filled with the holy ghost and you begin to pray in tongues you see when for many of us who have been taught that this tongues thing is only raising pentecostals you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of light and glory and power you can never walk in God gave you the blessings of the gift of these tongues to cause you to activate your organs of expression and interaction in the spirit. Suddenly you begin to pray in tongues. And while you are praying in tongues, suddenly you feel a cool sensation. And you cannot explain, you cannot account for. A few minutes later, your body is burning. What language is being communicated? Suddenly your eyes and your hands, it looks like there is a particular operation of the spirit that causes only your eyes to begin to burn. Lord, what are you saying? What spiritual language is this? What organ of expression is being activated in the spirit? And suddenly you are praying and sometimes you have to turn because you sense you are not alone in that place of prayer and then you cannot even understand your organs of interaction with the spirit they are getting enlightened and built and activated by the power of the spirit and you begin to pray and there is a manifestation and you begin to hear all kinds of sounds sometimes you hear voices choir singing and angel manifestations you feel oil crowns on your head all kinds of things fire sometimes you are praying and in less than one minute you sit down and fall asleep and you cannot even explain what happened it's important that we train ourselves to understand these things because these are the weapons of victory in the spirit and if you do not understand you will feel that the Holy Spirit is not leading you are you getting blessed tonight thank you Lord Jesus Christ perceptions in the spirit there are many of us who pray and suddenly you go blank for a few minutes then you come back and you cannot even explain what has happened you just know that in that split seconds when you start writing what you saw it will take an hour and you're saying what is this in less than a minute in earthly time you got realities that will take you an hour and religious people will say well just mind your business with these your things you are doing but the holy spirit is calling you to understand the atmosphere of the spirit when danger is about to happen to someone somehow there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you and when you train yourself to understand these perceptions you will be able to flow as a king in this life and in this realm you will never be taken aback so when someone comes and wants to do business with your father the moment you want to move there it comes again the spirit your organs of interaction in the spirit no matter what evidences you have there is are you listening to me if you do not realize that you are a spiritual man you will be cheated in this life because you will miss out on certain things there there is a way that the holy spirit communicates to me every time I'm, I'm entering new seasons in my life can i tell you something there is no hard and fast rule into working in these things it is a personal product of your dealings with the spirit that's why you cannot just write book and a book and say every time you feel it is the healing anointing no sir 
It's true that the healing anointing is associated with Jesus and all of this. You can't just generalize it. You will lead people into error. Because as you stay with the Holy Spirit, He begins to teach you what He will reveal as His impressions. He will teach you His language and His code that is customized to just you. And when you stand to minister, that's how sometimes we minister. It doesn't mean we always see visions. There are times that I'm moving and there is an operation and there is perception in my spirit. And I know not just that the anointing is there, but the kind of anointing that is there. And you don't waste your time trying to heal headache when there is an anointing to heal cancer. And then you keep struggling until your spiritual antenna keeps navigating and suffering. Then when you finally hit it, then there looks like a breakthrough. Have you seen people in meetings who suffer and do every spiritual gymnastic? They don't seem to connect. Then it's like an antenna. While they are tuning somehow, whether by mistake or by mercy, they just hit it. Suddenly you begin to see that people get blessed. And instead of the person to go back and say, Lord, let it not happen again. The person laughs and says, wow, that's a powerful meeting. Open your eyes. Open your ears And soon you understand That the Lord is here Open your eyes Open your ears Then you'll understand That the Lord is here are some of us who begin to pray and then you find out that you begin to have strange experiences where you can begin to talk about someone and you are not really seeing any vision in the spirit yet you can describe the person with accuracy and detail and his clothes you don't know where you are seeing from you just know that you are talking there is someone wearing a blue dress standing you weave your hair how you are getting it you cannot even understand you are not really seeing any vision people think you are seeing a picture you are dis- there is an agency in the spirit that cannot be explained in this realm but it's a tool for interaction then you are able to relate with the spiritual atmosphere and then you speak with accuracy and precision organs of expression in the spirit as I'm speaking to you, God is activating these things because He's giving you explanations. Then, at certain times, you're just moving, and these perceptions do you realize every single one of us in this place? The Holy Spirit has been communicating to you through this means. It's only that we have not been trained to understand that these are the promptings and the communications of the Spirit. This is the first step into the manifestation of the prophetic that you can understand. Your organs of interaction in the spirit. There are times you sit down and many of us suddenly begin to see flashes of lightning in different colors. And you do not realize that what you are attempting to see is the manifestation of angels. You just think you are seeing ribbons moving around. Who told you they are called ribbons? They appear and move so fast. The Bible says, He maketh His angels wings. He uses the word pneuma. Wings. Hallelujah. Spirit of the Lord. Many times, when you are standing and the Lord wants to call you to a place, where he will reveal secrets to you. There are ways he begins to lure you. But when your organs of expressions are deadened and they are not trained to understand that the Lord is beckoning on you. The man called Bishop Oyedipo said he was moving and the Lord told him, go to a solitary place. I want to speak to you. How many of us have missed out on secrets that would have been communicated unto us if we only understood that these operations of the Spirit were languages? Paul said there are voices 